Hey guys, welcome back for another Tiny Runs Run. So, I'm going to give you two videos today. We tried it uh, with the Cleric. Weren't successful, spoilers, sorry. But uh, I could try the Cleric again, but I'm going to click the random button, see if we go with someone else. And we got the hero. We'll try one more time. If we get another repeat, uh, I'll just go ahead and go with the Cleric again. Alright, the wizard. So we're gonna go with intelligence again. The wizard, they gain one mana at level two, four, and six. So we start with two mana, they're gonna give us three more mana, so this is gonna be five mana. So the wizard hopefully will get a bunch of mana and do a bunch of damage. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the mastery tree here. We get one more point. I'm not exactly sure which one to go into. We were working down here, so we could go ahead and get these twilight branches, they're more common. Or you always encounter Enchantress in the... Yep, I'm gonna get this one. Uh, that way I always guarantee the Enchantress is there. We can go ahead and enchant our weapon even if we get something negative. Now, uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and get the Soul Scarf. That way uh, I'm anticipating the wizard not having too much defense. When we recover our heart with a flask, we can go ahead and get an extra soul heart. So, a little bit more survivability. And again, we are trying to go for Primal Death in the Shadow Plane, so we want to go ahead and get Lawful up to level 3. Okay, that the it's, it's actually starting off pretty cool. I like this Laser Beam weapon. Just gotta line the enemies up. And let's take a quick look at the inventory here. So this Oak Staff. Your basic uh, magic weapon shoots a little beam. We get to increase stats granted by mana draining weapons, which is nice because uh, we do get to get more mana. We actually start with three mana. I didn't notice that. We start with three mana and we're gonna get another one at two, four, and six. So, right, because of our wisdom. Oh, because the wizard hat grants us the mana. That's why we start with three. Okay, so unfortunately I don't have a bomb for that, but uh, let's go ahead get some gold now. I'm not sure how much strength I'm going to get, but definitely want to focus on intelligence here. I start with one strength, but I'm only going to get strength just to help me with like equip load and stuff. Um, I could grab a pair, but I'm going to get the key and hopefully we'll get another food item before we go to the boss fight. And let's grab some bombs. Now we have a little bit of all of our resources. And we actually get a hidden room in here, which is nice. We get to use our bombs right away. And I'm hoping to grab like candy. You know, I want to increase the intelligence. So I'm gonna go ahead and bomb that once we grab it. What is this? I'll dash my next Five primary attacks are ruthless, which is pretty nice, but we will stick with the Soul Scarf for now. Actually, you know what? We're going to change it out. Unfortunately, I don't get to use my gift, but I can't, I'm going to keep it here. I can re-equip it. Oh, you know what? I'm going to heal right now, so let me go ahead and equip it. I'm going to heal up, get an extra Soul Heart, and now I'm going to change it with the Crocodile Rings. Uh, once I step into the next room, I want to lose the attunement for it. But hopefully I'll keep it around and if I need to heal in the future, I'll have three rooms to attune it. And then we'll be able to get an extra soul heart. There we go, get our level up and let's get a trait before the boss fight. Bell Echo or Discharge? I mean, they're both pretty good. Um, you know, the, the, the Discharge... I have to drain, what, one mana? This one I get, I just had to attack five times. We'll go with the Discharge. I got plenty of mana to drain, so hopefully we'll be able to do that. And I'll try to remember, like, if I'm all out of mana to just kind of stop attacking for a little bit to recharge my mana. 
I totally dodged that. What the heck? The game is rigged. Okay, there we go. There's my uh, uh, lightning discharges. I'm gonna focus down on the guardians first. Okay, now it's just one on one with the boss. And this tree, uh, one of the easier bosses to handle. You don't, got, you don't have to worry about it moving around. Unfortunately, we lost the soul heart, but hopefully... That won't matter. Here we go. What do we have here? Halloween K. Fear. It's a debuff that adds the minimum damage taken roll. Fearing an enemy also inflict instability. Hmm. I'm not quite sure that's what I want. We'll just grab the gloves. Yeah. Not too great of a first choice on the boss. Am I still gonna go for curses? Not sure. I mean, I do need bombs. Yeah, you know what? We'll try to go for five curses this run as well. I eventually want to get up to 16 cinder, so I, I, I anticipate it getting harder as we go. So getting a run with 5 curses earlier will be better than later. Okay, definitely gonna go with intelligence. So comet scroll is a choice and the tornado one or this one is even good too. This one's about, what, 500-600 damage? Poison? This is like 800. I'm gonna go with Tornado 1, unless this one. Yeah, this one seems a lot better. Deals about 900 and also has a 10% chance to do a secondary attack. Yeah. What's the second attack? At least behind a Mana Star. Nice, nice. Comet. Alright. So I gotta keep my cursor right on top of the enemy. And let's go ahead and get some souls. Plenty of mana stars, so I don't have to worry about like recharging mana. I can just collect mana stars to re reload. Whoa, flame bird! Does that scale with intelligence? It does. Ah, that could be a good weapon to switch into. We're gonna go ahead and grab arcade. Usually, arcade is pretty good. It gives you a lot of resources. I only have 11 gold, but I think I can use all of it without breaking the machine and then I'll bomb it at the end. What is this? Diamond armor. That diamond armor is really good, but man, I, I'm not going to have the strength to equip it. The Cheku. I'm not going to be using that, but hopefully I can just sell it. Got another soul heart, which is great. Got some keys. And this is going to be the last one, a soul heart and bomb time. Lots of dice. I can go for the wooden chest, but I'm going to grab the candy. I'm actually digging this um, comet weapon because I got a 10% chance just to get a mana star. I don't have to worry about stop attacking you know I can just keep attacking and then if I get a mana star pick it up to recharge my mana all right so we do have one curse here's our second curse oh shoot Took a little bit of damage there okay so this golem goes over there and I'm gonna dash through his attack so many mana stars, holy moly. All 
Alright, and he's gonna do a little bit of that. I can dodge these. No problem. Make sure to dash through that. And he's gonna go hit the other wall, dash through that, and we go to the second phase here. Whoa! Okay. I guess that's a little tougher. Oh, what? I thought I had a dash! Oh, man. At least I got plenty of soul hearts. Alright, so one curse, or two curses now. What do we get as a charm? We get strength. Good for equip load. What is this? A uh, lantern? And it does require us to be missing some life, so I'm not going to really play an effect just yet. Four seconds more for the flux. I think we're going to scrap the charm. Nothing really overpowered, and we do get the ruthless hit if we dash with our current accessory. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Burger is good if I wasn't going intelligence. Uh, let's go ahead and do a roll. Do I have any set items? I don't, right? Okay, so it's got to be dexterity, or I can roll again. And, um, you know, we're going to go ahead and just get, grab some gold, uh, unfortunately, you know. I wish we could go for, like, magic weapons, but I think we just need the gold. I'm, I'm taking way too much damage here. This, this black hole is pulling me in. It's messing me up. Yikes. Okay, so two bombs. I'm going to sacrifice a life for... I don't need it. I have a rare item. I have a rare weapon, so we'll just go and grab two bombs. It says, what, 10% lucky chance? Man, I, I am like... Doing a lot of damage or, or getting those uh, stars like crazy, man. Like, it seems way more than 10%. Okay, bomb that, what we get? Skull Ring. More damage to the bosses, okay. And uh, how many rooms of attunement? Five rooms of attunement. So I can either 30% more damage or just get more ruthless hits. They're both pretty good. I think I'm gonna stick with the ruthless hit. That's gonna work for bosses and non-bosses. Oh man, what is this? It costs more. Obsidian key, so we do get 10% attack speed with swords. We don't have sword skies. More dexterity. None of this is good. I could re-roll. Maybe there's a new set of shop items, but I'll save it for like the boss or something. We'll go ahead and go to the pawn shop, grab some more gold, sell all of our things that we don't want. Goodbye, flame bird. And diamond armor, you are really good. But we'll get rid of you. Do I need the strength? Not really. Let's go ahead and get rid of our charm as well. Alright, so we've got the tavern. Reduced mana drain threshold. I'm gonna get rid of these. I think I can get better gloves. I do like the extra mana though. Yeah, we'll keep everything else. Okay, so we're gonna go to the tavern. We got Santa Claus. Always nice to have some resources. Grab a purging stone. Because we have a rare item. Or a rare weapon, that is. And then uh, we'll get additional 
item space, inventory space. Just one though. I want to save my souls to get the favors. And then uh, we could get an enchantment. Um, you know, this, this common scroll is doing work. Let's go ahead and grab one enchantment. We got unstoppable, which is, uh, I don't know. It's okay. But we'll grab some more gold and be on our way. Whoa. And those uh, dragonflies, their attacks actually hard to dodge uh, because they spread out, but not very far. See, I got hit by that right there. Like, you gotta be really careful to like go in between them, or like you're, just, you're gonna get hit. All right, so we could get some boots, and we'll go ahead and collect our third curse here. I'm trying to focus on the Guardians, but I'm keeping a super close eye on my character. Definitely don't want to get hit. Because uh, unlike the Cleric, we don't get any additional HP here. But at the same time, I'm not doing a good job at focusing down the Guardians. I gotta drink my flask. Give me a good spot. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Drink that flask and let's dodge out of the way. Alright, okay. We got the second phase, which I don't know if it's good because we still got to deal with the guardian. Man, I may, I may reduce the cinder level down to honestly zero just so we can complete these uh, runs with the classes and start unlocking some things gosh gosh guys I have failed you today I'm terribly sorry two runs one with the cleric one with the wizard both of the intelligence intelligence classes I'm not able to do a run oh my goodness okay only two boxes oh okay guys sorry I next run I promise I promise I want to reduce the cinder level we're gonna get a run completed, we're gonna complete our world tier events, and we're gonna do it in the next run, so come back for more, but until next time guys, peace.